All right, I'm just going to talk through a couple of the short questions that you'll be able to give a go to. Uh, 2019 A2. Uh, you've got the, the image shows below the AOL building in Dublin. The curve is a hyperbola. So straight away, it's a hyperbola. Eccentricity greater than 1. So an example would be 4 over 3 or something like that. The drawing on the right shows the axis AA, directrix DD, and the focus F. And eccentricity line E of a similar hyperbola. A number of points in the curve are also shown. So what they've given you is a half done uh, curve. You have directrix, axis, focus, and the eccentricity point. You also have the focal line there. So the line straight up from the focus is the focal line. So you've basically all the information you need to draw the curve. They've started off finding a few points. You have to locate the vertex five additional points, so five more points, and draw the top portion of the hyperbola. So they've started off with two points. You're going to have to find the other three that they've begun here, and you're going to have to find two more points down here someplace. You're also going to have to find the vertex. So see, can you do that? Draw a circle which shall be tangential to the directrix and also tangential to the hyperbola at point P. So you have to draw a circle that's going to touch the eccentricity line and directrix. It has to touch it at point P, so it will be coming, the, sorry, the center will be coming through a point somewhere out there. See, can you find that? Here is our eccentricity line, and you have point P, so the center is going to be somewhere out here. It also has to touch this line at the same time as it touches this line. So, for example, those are an example of circles that are touching the two lines at once and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so see can you figure that out that's the 2019 question this is the 2018 so 2018 a3 short question again it's an ellipse and parabola question uh it's to do with the salmon weir bridge don't need to read about the the start of it the curved uh, support pillar is based on a parabola which is inscribed in a rectangle V is the vertex of the parabola and P is a point in the curve. Draw the parabola. So your question is basically, you're given V, you're given the box that the parabola goes into, you just need your junior structure construction to draw out the parabola. They've already kind of half done it for you, but you could even ignore that. You could just go and draw your parabola as you normally would. So in other words, dividing up the long side, divide up the short side, maybe into four equal sections or five equal sections. Four is probably enough and then draw your parabola. Second part then, it sounds tricky, but it's not as bad as it sounds. F is a point, F is the focal point on the parabola. P is, is a point anchored to the bridge surface by two cables. So you have F to P. So basically what they're saying is that is a line. The line PF is one cable. The second cable is inclined at 25 degrees to a tangent at P. Construct a tangent at point P and draw both cables. So they want us to draw a line to this. They want us to draw a tangent at point P. As soon as I hear tangent, I'm looking for my tangent constructions that we were doing earlier. So I come back and I'll take a look. So I look at when I want to draw a tangent, I have two options. I've got my F to P and coming off at 90 degrees to hit the directrix. Now I see here, I don't have a directrix. I could go set up the directrix. I could go F to V, take that distance and double it. So come back out here the same distance and set up a directrix. But that seems a little bit messy. My other option is F to P and we go horizontal towards the directrix and I bisect the angle. That would make much more sense because I don't actually have to have the directrix. I can just join F to P, come across here with a line and bisect the angle. So I'd end up with something very quickly like that. I've got a big wide angle, I can bisect it. That'll give me my tangent and then I need to draw another line coming off there at 25 degrees. See, can you make sense of that question? Our 2017 question. So you can see these types of questions come up pretty regularly. Uh, it's all about a golf uh, logo. The one important part though, you can read through that yourselves, I'm not going to read through it to save time. The main curve of the parabola and the, sh the club shaft is a normal to the parabola. So they talk about a normal to the parabola. A normal is just a line at 90 degrees to a tangent. So if you've got a tangent, to get a normal, you're just drawing a line at 90 degrees to the tangent. 
The information is all given down here. The drawing on the right shows an axis AA1 and directrix DD1. So you've got your axis and directrix. Remember, it's a parabola. So as soon as I hear parabola, I'm thinking eccentricity is 1 is to 1. And that was all about the F to P, P to D thing. So F to P is 1 unit, P to D is going to be 1 unit. The drawing on the, uh, sorry, the, and the focus F is given. So we've got our focus. First part, locate the vertex and draw a portion of the parabola. So we have the focus, we have the directrix, the vertex is somewhere here. And that's where the F to P over P to D comes in. F to P is one unit, P to D is one unit. Locate a point P in the curve, which is 30 millimeters from the directrix and construct a normal to the curve. So you're gonna have your curve drawn here somewhere. Locate a point 30 millimeters away. In other words, just measure out here 30, draw straight down. So you'd get a point. There's the point we're looking for. They want you to draw a tangent at that point P. And they didn't say draw a tangent, but what they want you to do is we can draw a tangent at that point. A normal to the tangent just comes off at 90 degrees. So that's actually a very straightforward question. If you know how to draw the parabola, you know how to set it up, you know about your, your eccentricity is one is to one. That is a very quick question to do. The 2016 question, so it's to do with a, a pencil uh, sharpener. The drawing on the right shows the axis AA1 and directrix DD1 and the focus for a hyperbola. The hyperbola has an eccentricity of 3 is to 2, so that's going to be very important. So we've got a directrix, we've got our axis, we've got our focus. We are missing our eccentricity line and we're missing our vertex. Again, though, as soon as I heard eccentricity, I'd be coming back to my construction. This was the construction that we drew up the last day, and we talked about eccentricity, and it's just lucky the one we drew was 3 is to 2. So in other words, eccentricity of 3 is to 2, it means it's 3 units straight up here to hit the eccentricity line, and over. That's 2 units. If we had F to P, so from the focus to a point in the curve is 3 units. So for example, if that was 60 mil, the distance to the directrix would be 40 mil. But most important, F to P is three units, so that's where the vertex is, this distance is two units. So again, if that was 15 mil, this would be 10 mil. Or if I was gonna divide that distance, so if I could divide that distance into five units, step back three units with the vertex, step back two units to get the end. So that's where the three is to two comes in for hyperbola. Locate a point P on the curve, which is 60 millimeters from the focus. So in other words, from the focus, when you get your curve, so your curve is going to be here someplace, 60 di uh, distance. So get something 60 mil away in the curve, set 60 on my compass, strike an arc. That is a point 60 mil from the curve. And we want to draw a tangent in there. So that should be pretty straightforward.